Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show 9 more advanced tricks that you can use to counter turtling. The reason it's 9 more tricks is because I uploaded a similar video to this about 3 weeks ago. That video showcased 8 different ways that you could use to beat turtlers, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. The structure of this video will be the same as most of my other advanced tips and tricks videos where I show what the move is, explain why it works, and then throw in a clip from a pro player using it. We have a lot to cover, so let's start with one of the newest and most consistent ways to get into your opponent's box. This trick is extremely simple, but you'll need a flintlock pistol to actually pull it off. Just run up to the turtling players one by one, build a ramp over yourself, and then get the wall low enough where it can be one shot with a flintlock pistol. Look down at the bottom of the wall, jump up and shoot while aiming at the wall so you break it and then push yourself forward through their wall because you just hit off the ramp. This is the same concept as the trick I showed in the last counter turtling video where you can edit a ramp or cone and then if you run and jump into it at the right angle, it will basically propel you forwards and phase you through the enemy's wall. The reason this way is better is because the flint knock propels you upwards and then the ramp hits you forward by itself, so there's really no way you can mess it up unless you miss the wall completely. From your opponent's point of view, there's nothing they can do to stop you from flying through their walls and to prove it, you can see I'm on zero ping and I couldn't even stop my cousin from doing this trick on me. The other added benefit from using the flint knock is that you're basically thrown onto your opponent which will take them off guard and make you a harder target to hit compared to just phasing through the wall normally. A ton of pro players have been using this trick recently, including Poach, who literally did it on his first try here, as well as Cypher, who shows that you can do it on any type of material, not just wood. All you need to do is make sure the wall is 138 health or less, because that's how much structure damage the flint knock does. And credit for this trick goes to Moki. The second trick is an oldie but goodie, back from a couple of seasons ago, where you can hit and replace a wall through your own ramp. It's a little different now though because you have to hit the wooden bar at the top of the wall in order to be able to hit the crit mark through your own ramp. If you hit your opponent's wall too low or really anywhere that's not the top bar, you won't be able to hit the blue circle through your own ramp. Instead, you'll just hit your ramp and break it. It takes some practice at first, but just jump up and aim your pickaxe crosshair at the big top bar that kind of looks like a crossbar of a soccer goal. The way you can really throw your opponents off while doing this is to hit the top of the wall, build a ramp, and then hit their cone to distract them. Then you can replace the wall through the ramp and surprise them for a cheeky kill. If you do it this way, your opponent will start turbo building a cone because that's what they think you're trying to replace when you go up on the ramp. Then you're going to break the wall through the ramp and replace it while they're caught with their pants down. I'm not sure who originally found this as I think it's been around since the beginning of season 9 or even longer. It's just people never realized you have to hit the top bar of the wall in order to hit the crit mark again through the ramp for it to work. But this is definitely useful and will take your opponent off guard if you start pressuring their cone as well. Third on the list is a really smart peek that you can use when the turtler is stuck on one side of their box. The edit most people make is a Dorito that exposes the turtler's entire body, which isn't a terrible edit, but you're exposing yourself as well and you'll likely take a ton of damage. What you should do is this, edit a window in front of where they are, but position yourself to the left side of it. This way, once the edit goes through, you can quickly right hand peek them. Right hand peeks in Fortnite are ridiculously strong, so you should always be trying to use them in box fights because of how protected they make you and how little damage you'll take while using them. Just make sure that you're positioned correctly to the left of the window edit and not to the right of it or in front of it. Your opponent will have no angle on you even when your head pops up for like a quarter of a second. So unless they can replace the wall before you get a shot off, they're dead meat. This trick was originally popularized by MSF Clicks, but I saw it from Destiny's Jesus, so credit goes to both of them. No one knows how the peak that I do. Next up is probably the best new way to replace your opponent's walls for console and controller players, but it also does work for keyboard and mouse players as well. Controller players don't need to change anything in their settings for this to work, but if you're on keyboard and mouse, you need to bind an accessible keybind to your switch quick bar, so I just binded C to it. What this does is it brings up any of your builds once you press it and release it. So if I press the quick bar bind C and then release it, whichever build, like a floor or wall that I had pre-selected, that will come up after I finish pressing it. This is different than what you normally do to build a wall because I would just press Q and it would instantly come up. But for this, you press it and once you let go, it comes up. 
The trick is to get your opponent's wall low, take out your shotgun, press and hold the switch quick bar, which is what we just binded on PC and how you normally bring out your builds on controller. Then press down and hold your fire button and right after you shoot, stop pressing the switch quick bar and your wall will come up because you already had it selected and it will instantly build and you'll steal their wall. It's a lot easier and more intuitive on controller since you're used to pressing the switch bar every time you take out your builds. So it will definitely take some getting used to on keyboard and mouse. Another tip is that if you hold down the quick bar button for more than 5 seconds and you don't let go, then nothing will happen if you do let go after that, so you can't really hold it down forever. It took me about 20 minutes of practice to get the whole sequence down and what buttons I had to press, but it's not too difficult to master. Remember to hold down your fire button after you shoot the shotgun, so when you stop pressing the quick bar button or keybind, then your wall will come up and be turbo built since you've been pressing the fire button the whole time, which places builds. I learned this technique from Ghost Aiden, who you guys should all know by now. If you're on controller, this should definitely be your new go-to method for wall replacing. You can also replace floors and ramps and cones as long as that's what you have pre-picked from the switch quick bar. I've seen some keyboard and mouse pro players like 72 hours use this and bind their switch quick bar when it wasn't bound before. So it still is useful and I'd recommend learning it even if you're not on controller, but it is a little harder and will take a little longer to master. We just showed Aiden's trick, so now let's show Clix's way of replacing walls. What Clix does that is honestly a little more intuitive than it is an exploit or anything like that, is when he replaces walls, he basically cancels the pickaxe animation when bringing up and building a wall. So you'll notice sometimes he doesn't actually hit the wall because he's bringing out his wall too fast. By doing this, you're cutting out any time in between the wall breaking and you building another one, which is basically what a wall replaces. It comes down to whoever can build the wall faster after it's broken, so by doing this, you're trying to build the wall instantaneously after it's broken. Now, a lot of this will be based on ping, so if you're on 60 ping, you probably won't be able to use this to replace people's walls. But if you're on 30 or 40 ping, you can definitely use this to replace someone else's walls who has higher or even slightly lower ping than you. From your opponent's perspective, it doesn't look like anything special, it just looks like a normal wall replace until they actually steal it. I play on less than 10 ping and I've had my wall stolen numerous times by people with higher ping because of this. Clix has basically become the wall replacing god because of this and of course because of his zero ping. But I still think it's important to show what he's been doing because a ton of people including pro players thought there was some secret macro he was doing when in reality it's not. It's just getting down the timing of breaking their wall as you bring out your wall and of course that juicy single digit ping. The 6th and 7th tricks are very similar so I'll kind of group them together. They both start with replacing your opponent's cone from the top, but for the first one after you replace the cone, edit and then re-edit the cone so you're underneath it. From there, look down and break the floor while spam crouching and you should easily phase through into their box. This is the easiest and most consistent way I've found for actually getting into a 1x1. The problem of course is that you can easily be trap killed or shotgunned in the face since your opponent will know where you're coming from. But if your opponent is trying to heal or is really low and you need to secure the kill then this might be what you have to pull out. The other way you can do this which is still very consistent is to edit the cone up like a ramp after you replace it. Then position yourself a little past the center beam on the floor. Jump up and break the floor and the same exact thing will happen. I'm not sure why this happens, but it's basically impossible to stop people from phasing through your floors, which is why both of these methods work so well. The only trouble would be replacing their cone, but that shouldn't be too hard if you use the Ghost Aiden or Misfits Clicks method like I just showed. The second to last trick I'll cover is an exploit to get a cone inside your opponent's turtle. All you have to do is run up to the corner of their box, look down, and spam crouch while trying to place a cone, and you should be able to get a cone in there after a second or two. The reason this is useful is because you can then take their wall using one of the other tricks and they'll have no way to defend themselves with a cone in their box, or they'll be too busy trying to destroy it to stop you from taking their wall. Either way, it's a neat trick to catch them off guard and place a cone in their turtle. And the last trick actually goes with it because if you walk up to the wall and look at the right angle, you can edit your own builds through your opponent's walls. I'll admit this isn't that useful, but I'd love to see some of you guys find a way to make it useful. One thing that we tried was editing three pieces of the cone so whoever's in the box was thrown under it and then you could try to steal their wall while they're all confused. This is more of a gimmick than an actual trick, but if you guys can pull something crazy off using this, definitely send me a clip of it on Twitter or Instagram. Overall, these 9 advanced tricks should definitely help you guys counter turtling. I tried to include both console and PC strategies as well as tricks that were advanced but not too insanely hard to pull off. 
If you have any tricks of your own, don't hesitate to DM me a clip of them on any of my social medias. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using code Jerrion. If you're not supporting anyone or using anyone's code, it doesn't even have to be mine. Just put a code in, but I did hear code Jerrion is the best one. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.